dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We've got a great week, starting off with the third week of DC's Villains Month, followed by NHL 08, and then for our focal point, Resident Evil, the deck building game. That's right. Our anime this week is Chaos Head, and our movie is Ed Wood. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> Everybody, today is the 23rd, and we're taking a look at week three of DC's Villains Month. That's right. As noted, this is the third week of 3D covers. Hooray! All and which... I apologize for green screen fails. Oh yes, there's Gonna a lot of green right now. like this one. Yay! Ooh. So this one is Lex Luthor, uh, and Luthor. well, I, I, we'll go into the story later. But uh, yeah, I'll just cycle through them quick, and then yeah. as usual, we'll kind of break them up. Okay, so uh, Lex Luthor. There's Clayface. There's uh, uh, Arcane. Arcane. Yeah, I'm, don't even try. Yeah, I'm not gonna try. Just... Okay, so then there's Cheetah. Then there's Deathstroke, and then there's Penguin. Penguin. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Hell, I guess. Hell. H L. Hell. Yeah, I mean it's like Jor El or whatever. Yeah. Scarecrow. Um, that one was Scarecrow. Then there's the Rogues. Um, Black Hand. Dial E. And I don't know what this one was, but Dial E. Uh, oh, Raz, sorry, another huge green fit. Raz al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul, depending on which uh, uh, fanfic you're going off of. Uh, Eclipso. And then a 14th this week. Yes, Shadow Thief. So I'm not sure if the next week it's only going to have 12 or or what, because that, that makes no sense yeah, to me. Because we have to go through it. They put 14 there. So these stories, in my opinion, are... Uh, there, there was not, not as many lame ones as there was last week last week i had a problem that you know this one was kind of pointless like the uh the court of owls that one was like whatever i totally disagree with that uh, yeah uh, to me that one was kind of throwaway you I need didn't to really read it again one. i don't it's know it's good it's a good one yeah uh but this and week... i agree with that statement because there's like three or four that i did not care for at all in this grouping really plus there's like like only one origin that's not even really it's only like three pages of origin so there's like hardly any origins in here either well I, they, they didn't say that they were just going to give us strictly origins um, With but, a one issue comic, it really might need to be. Well, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so 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 yeah. In my opinion, uh, there's less of those ones where you're just like whatever. But then again, there's also less of the ones where we're like, this is awesome. You have to read this. In my opinion. Now I did note which ones I considered the best. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you absolutely have to read them. So yeah, so there was the ones that you know you just had to read last week. In my opinion, this week I don't really think that you have those here. Um, so let's just start going through them, maybe. Okay. So, uh, so the first one was Lex Luthor. Sorry screen, about the green uh, screen. Yeah, sorry. Um, and the three D ness of it, I liked the three D ness of it was pretty damn good. Um, yeah. I, I think there could have been a little more depth, but it was fine for what it was. And this is one of the ones that I liked. I really liked the story because you really see how big of a prick Lex Luthor is. I mean, he's he's a total douche in this one. Um, so so what did you think about this one? It was totally utterly predictable, and I've seen it a billion times. Don't care. Okay. But it is quintessential Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. I just, I've seen it before a lot. There's well, nothing about this book that's like, oh, that ties into this or this or this. It's just, oh, yeah, that's Lex Luthor, I remember. Right, right. Well, the problem the problem, that, the problem with that is the whole point of the New 52 was to bring in those new users, uh, new users, new readers. So to yeah. have a, a, a okay. Lex Luthor like this, you know, where you haven't seen him in the New new 52 years. Honestly, I again, this is one that I wish was an origin story. This is just kind of like a day in the life of. But you know. what kind of origin story would Lex Luthor have? He I don't know. That's like why a, I want to see it. He was born like a regular person. <laughs> well, yeah, but isn't like the whole thing like uh, he zapped his hair, or, like Superman zapped his hair, and that's why I really fucking hated him at the beginning? Like that's that's part of the lore. They've kind of like you know swept that under the rug, but that's part of the. So I'm just saying, you know, that that would be an interesting opportunity to give us something that we haven't had before, or not many people know. Or yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. So uh, you it, like it? I agree that it's quintessential Lex Luthor. It's right. just been there, done that. So the next one is Clayface, uh, and this one was okay. It was a decent story, See, in my opinion. I like this one better. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Huh. Because I don't, I, again, I don't know a whole lot. I mean, you know, I knew he was an actor, and I knew, you know, whatever. But, yeah, this kind of gives a, a real solid look into his personality, and it's not something that I've seen a billion times. So I think it's it's quintessentially the same as the Lex Luthor book. It's just that this is uncharted territory more than that. 
Like that, you could literally read the last issue of Superman with Lex Luthor, and that's what you get. But this one, I've never seen that before, because he's always kind of a bit character. When he showed up in the Batman, um, I, 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 I don't know if I care for him or not. Huh. Um, but this gives a much more personality, you know. So you care, you cared about him more in this one than in well, other. Well, I just was interested. Let's uh, just say that. Okay. So anyway, but it's uh, a cool cover. Yeah, as you can see, the the cover is pretty damn good as well. Um, yeah, to me, this one was okay. It wasn't that great, but whatever. Uh, the next one is Arcane, and this one I liked. I liked the idea behind it. I just wish that there was more of it, so I didn't rate it as one of the best ones. I just kind of. I really wanted more. Yeah, I figured one. you'd like it just because I know you like the Animal Man and the Rot and the yes. Green and the Red and all yes. that stuff. So I, I did enjoy the arcane bits of it, and he's pretty hardcore, yeah. you know, kind of thing. It's like, I'm sharing my gift by, you know, murdering people and making them rot, you know, kind of thing. Sorry, spoiler, maybe. I don't know. Um, what I didn't really... I don't have any context for his whole... The whole daughter thing or whatever. Is that his daughter, right? Yeah, the daughter, Abby, she's... Yeah. um she's. So, uh, 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 Swamp Thing's girlfriend. Okay. I have no context for that, so I was like, okay, I don't really understand this character or whatever, but right. it wasn't necessary. It just ate up a couple pages of convoluted, I didn't know what was going on kind right. of thing. Right, So that's, you know, more my fault maybe, I don't know. But I, I enjoyed this solidly. Okay, well, uh, I think it was an okay story. I wish they they did more. And the 3D cover, as you can see, is also pretty good in this one. Yeah. Uh, they're all really yes, in quite the, cool in this batch. In the, yeah, in this batch, I think that the, they do. I the mean, this one this one is technically flat, flat, but it's still cool. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay, okay so after that is uh, Cheetah. And this is it's the one. an awesome cover. Yeah, yeah. I love that cover. I, cover. Think, I think that's my favorite cover, especially with a blood spread, which is it's the red. Awesome. Yeah. Um, this, in my opinion, is one of the better ones of the group. Uh, I really like this one because I didn't know much about Cheetah because I'm not a huge Wonder Woman fan. And uh, this one, just, uh, there was there was a lot of mythology kind of tied into reality. It was just so cool. I like this one. Yeah, I liked it a lot, too. There, There's something that I can't quite put my finger on that was a little... I think it's just how she behaves, like, instantly. But I know the dagger's involved in the idea, right, so right. you'll have to make it up on your own. But there's a little inconsistency that kind of makes me a little hesitant. But otherwise, yeah, it's a great book. So, and I never, I always thought Cheetah was kind of stupid, honestly. You know, run around basically naked with you know dots painted on her. But this kind of transcended that, right. even though she's still running around naked. But whatever. Well, she's she's furry. She's. I, but we never see fur. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, so good book. Yes, good book. Uh, then we have Deathstroke. This one, to me, could have been so much cooler. I mean, I did like the story, but it could have been so much better. Yeah, I mean, it, it is kind of an interesting look at his past, possibly. But yes, there's nothing that's really capitalized on it, unfortunately. Right. And he's one of my favorite characters, kind of. You know, it's it, he's always been a character that I want to really like. But I don't think his book, his solo book, is quite doing it for me. And, you know, he's never really been capitalized, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, on. So. Right. But anyway, it's it's a decent cover, and I don't know if there's a whole lot more to say about this one. It's kind of flat. Yeah, it is kind of flat, unfortunately. Um, the the cover is even not as good as the other ones, but it is pretty cool. Yeah, it's still cool. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say is I saw you know you don't put it down. One of the things I want to say is um I saw a Deadpool image, you know, and then you know how they put the text over things. It said, uh, he had ripped out Deadpool had ripped out his eye, and he says, oh, I see the re resemblance, and he's standing next to uh Deathstroke, so it's like that. Kind see, of that's the cool thing about Deadpools. He references that stuff all yeah, the time. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so uh, what is next? Uh, what is that? Penguin. Is it? I couldn't see. <laughs> Peng oh, because all I have to do is look at the screen. Penguin. So Penguin was an interesting one, although I did see the story already in. Um, uh, oh shoot! Um, one of the one of the Spider-Man ones. There was a Kingpin story about this guy who worked for Kingpin, and he was going in, and he understands what what the deal is. So this one kind of had that flavor, you know, that mob boss. Uh, he's going to be yeah. ruthless, and I should understand that. I will say that it surprised me because I didn't. I don't really care about the penguin. He's like the least, you know, character. To, like I don't really care. He's, he's not very interesting to me. Okay. But this one did a good job of, you know, I, I liked it. I, I, I continually, you know, oh hey, what's the next page, you know, kind of thing. So I, I did appreciate this. Having said that, I mean, it's good to see that he's kind of back as being nasty in charge, you know, kind of right. thing. But. I agree with you, is that it's, it doesn't tread new ground or anything. Yeah. So, that one was okay, and the cover's... I like okay. it. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. To me, the cover could have been better. A lot of things could have been better. Uh, so, now we have Hell, or Heel, or I don't know how to pronounce HL. it. This one, 
bothers me because it jumps right into like a story that we should have known part of, but I don't know anything about this character. Yeah, so I don't either. There was like this time rift thing that he kind of went back in time or something, but we don't really know his story as to where he comes from, and that actually works against it. Like sometimes you're like, oh, I, I totally disagree. Actually, I think that the most interesting thing that has come out in any of these books is in this. Really? Because it has that thing of. You know, it's like, oh, I remember this, but it was totally different. I can't have been here, you know, kind of thing. And it was because he first came back. Right. Everything changed. So I, got, I got that. What, what, what those my... books don't have... Most books that do time travel do not do it this responsibly. This this is very interesting to me. The character huh. itself is, yes, I agree with you. It's it's kind of like, I don't know anything about this character. I probably should, but whatever. But it's just the, the microcosm of the time travel and him going back and it being completely different from the point that he went back, which yeah. totally makes sense. But... It didn't even show him going back, so in my mind, it could have all just been this crazy delusion that he had. Um, yeah, sure. That also makes it interesting. Okay, okay, I guess. I, I just I just wish that they kind of made it a little more concrete as far as the story, storytelling goes, because I was kind of... I like the ambiguousness of it, because it's time travel. Time travel's really fucked up. When you start thinking about it, your, your mind just gets twisted. So. Okay, well, I and I do like this cover. This yeah. cover's pretty cool. Um, I just wish that they went into who that character is, because I have known nothing about him. Yeah, see, I, I guess I'm more interested, because I already don't really care about Superman that much, and I, I t t definitely don't care about him. Right. So, to me, it's more of the idea that's interesting, not the character. So, in that case, I just, it, I, I don't know, it had a really interesting seed. Cyber Superman was, was so much better, in my opinion. But, yeah, I guess I guess there is something there to look at. I think this one, they're, I think they're apples and oranges. Because the Cyber Superman was, you know, seeing the violence and the rationality behind it, whatever. And that was actually a common theme in that group of books. There right. were a lot of that. Uh, but this one is just that weird, you know, it, it's a little bit more responsible as far as I'm concerned when talking about time. Because as soon as someone goes back, things are going to be different. So okay. you don't go back to change something because as soon as you go back, things change. So the thing that you're going back to change might even happen, you know. All right, well, I... I anyway. <laughs> okay, I guess that's where we differ. Uh, so then we have Scarecrow. This, to me, is probably... In my opinion, the least uh, favorite of them because Dude, I like this one too. Really, it's yes. just him walking around. That, so, that's but it. it ties in to Forever Evil, and it gives you more context of that whole story. And I like seeing him, you know, the deal with the other characters. And yeah, I I like this one a lot. Really? Mm -hmm. To me, to me, I was, was looking forward to this one too. So huh. it could have easily let me down, but it didn't. I like this one. I was expecting so much more. I mean, he is Scarecrow. There's so much more he could have done, but really, he's just walking from district to district to talk to. You know, I, uh, 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 Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, uh, I think he runs into Killer Croc, Killer Croc okay. yeah. So, so to me, oh, and Riddler, um, it just could have been but so it, much it, more than him walking to me, around. To me, I like it because it pulls in a lot of the other books. Like Two-Face, we've already seen him, and, you know, there's he shows yeah. up in a lot of other books. So. Yeah, okay, I guess I, I guess enjoy I can it. agree I mean, with that. If you're expecting, like, an origin story or something more about Scarecrow, then I can understand. But to me, it was it was great. I already know Scarecrow's origin. It's pretty simple, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. thing. And he, had, he does, you know, recite it here for anybody who's new. But, yeah, I solidly enjoyed this book. Okay. We are not agreeing this week. No, we are not. Uh, the Rogues. This is one of my favorites as well. I, I really like The Rogues. I thought that there was a, a lot of dynamic there that I did not know about as far as they go. I, I, I dug it. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess I dug it. It was enjoyable. There There's just kind of like that... Really, they they have more villains that are technically you know hero ish. I don't know. Well, they're not heroes. They're I just not they're, killers. They're they're yeah, just thieves. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it's interesting enough. Captain Cold, his outfit is just so retarded. I can't I can't get past that. But it is interesting to see the whole you know mirror master and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then they go to say, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, it was it was cool because you know you have these people who are like. We want to be thieves, you know, and they build their own things, and then there's this whole screw up that Ca uh, Captain Cold starts. Uh, and well, don't give the whole story away. I'm, ju I'm just saying, you know, there's everyone knows that he screwed up. It's it's outed in like, the first couple pages. No, oh, well. Um, but uh, but yeah. So there's there's this kind of dynamic and this kind of brotherhood between them, and it's just I, I dug it. I it does it give cool. kind of a Thunderbolts kind of feel. Right, right. I, I liked it. In I thought Marvel, that one was cool, Marvel and universe. I like the uh, cover too. I think the cover is pretty cool. Yeah, and it's really one of the few that have been a group. Yes. In fact, it might be the only one that's been a group yes. so far. Uh, so the next one is Black Hand, and this one was okay. It was... Dude, I fucking love this one. Really? Yes. Wow. It was awesome. Dude, because all he did, he, he, I think he took like 20 steps in the entire freaking thing. It was... I, I love this one because, I... you know, he's just getting his memory back, and I, I love this one. I Yeah. Huh. But to me, to me, it was, I don't know, it was kind of... Bland. I guess I don't love, love this one, but I like this one solidly. Huh. I... I... 
Okay, we are really not agreeing. Uh, to me, this one was just okay. It was okay. That's an interesting idea. He's and, just a cool character. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like if it. you guys don't know, Black Hand can raise the dead and he can rock people out. Yeah, it was such an interesting, fun, you know, like little horror thing that he yeah. can use a dead thing to create another dead thing, and like you really, it's like that's scary because you really have to stop it, and like he can use the smallest things. So right, I, I he really can play the that. zombie, and I, I like, I do like the ending. I thought that was cool, you know, the whole thing that I can't say on the air. Yeah, I liked it. So uh, it it has its merit, but I think it, it yeah. just wasn't that great. Yeah, and this one's got the cool cover too. They're, they're, the covers here. This yeah, I like this really one because it's a good use of the foreground yes. as you know, not him kind of. Yeah, thing. agreed. So that's fun. Okay. Dial E. I have no idea what was happening in this. I mean, just right to off me, the bat, they're already using the dial thing, and this, yeah, this this reminds me of so negatively. This reminds me of like uh, Deadpool versus the Marvel Universe, where it's just. Every page is something completely different. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? But it does remind you of, like, uh, Ben Tennyson, you know, kind of thing. Right, like The Ben right. 10 series right, and whatever. Right. And I, yeah, I can't say that I liked it. There were a few characters that they became that were compelling, but nothing happened. Yes. It, so, yeah. I'm and not and, sure and it, it happens, the, the art is done in such a way that you don't really know who's fighting who, who was who when they... That's true, too. It's the, just... Some of the art is like, it's like, yeah, like space, or what is it, jail, and space, space jail, whatever, super jail. Super right? jail. It's very weird, you know, yes. very yeah. crude art. And um, jumps around. And if you don't know anything about the dial, then this book is not really going to help you because they just start using it and you have to kind of interpret how the thing works. The idea is cool, but yeah, it was done in such a hasty manner. This really should have been like a three-part book or something. Um, and the cover, not so good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the you know, the, she's pretty generic and bland. And the candies are funny, like they have all these bad, you know, like nasty taffy and stuff names. They're kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it's just really, and it doesn't have anything to do with the story. So nope. it's kind of like, I don't know. It, this one, this one might be the worst in my opinion of this grouping. I, 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 I hesitate to agree just because there were some great baddies that showed up. But yeah, again, they weren't used. So right. it was, it was literally one baddie and then bloop, change into another baddie, bloop, change into another. So it's like four baddies in one page. Yeah. So it really you makes have no, no idea sense. what's going on. But as I think as a catalyst to more stories, it might be good. Okay. But I'm just not, not a standalone. For I'm sure. wondering if that dial is going to come into play later. I, yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Not a standalone for sure. Okay. Uh, so next one is Raz. Sorry, green screen. Raz al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul. Yeah, I don't know how well you're going to see that with the green. Um, but this one, this one was okay. I, I I dug this one really. Not really, no. It's it's not my. I didn't list it as my favorite, but I, I liked it enough. To to me, it's exactly the same thing as Lex Luthor. It's it's expected. I've seen it right. before. I've heard about it a billion times. So again, I guess you know, for new new fans, it's it's fine. And it's not it's not a bad book per se, but. Yeah, just nothing particularly enjoyable about it. Okay, well, I mean, it does have a lot of backstory. It does kind of go through Raish's Raz's... Yeah, but every time life. you see him, he, he you know, he, he can't help but tell you all these things. Yeah. Every time you meet him. Yeah, okay, that's true. So that one's... Okay. Um, following that one is Eclipso. Yeah. Uh, and this one was... This one was... This one reminded me of Wishmaster. Did you see that movie? Yeah, right. Yeah, that, I think I, th I know exactly what you're talking about. I think I think that was pretty much the entire premise of Wishmaster, yes. and so to me that doesn't really do much for this uh, for this one, unfortunately. I mean, I, I like the character, I suppose, of Eclipso, but even then, it's kind of like, huh. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense that he would take that leap. Um, yeah. If you read the book, you'll know what I'm saying, or at least you know uh, understand where I'm coming from. But you know, I I can see the value in it. I I, I liked it okay. Um, I think the cover's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the cover, and I don't know much about the character. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, well, it, the character's essentially the devil. Yeah, he has an origin story. Um, well, I think the devil to them to the DC universe is uh um, uh Raven's, Trigon. Trigon, yeah. So this one was only okay, and if you've seen Wishmaster, then you probably get the premise of this one. Um, there's nothing really great about it, in my opinion. The cover is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's some value there, but yeah, it's 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 not bad enough that we can bash it necessarily, but it's not good enough that we want to bring it to your attention. Right, so. right. It's okay. Uh, and then the last one is Shadow Thief, and in my opinion, I really like this one. This one is one of the ones that I put a plus next to in my in my book. I I, I dug it. I thought it was cool. We agree this time. Yes. I really like this one. I like the cover. She's kind of hot. Yeah, know, yeah. Kind of 
Um, and it does definitely give me like a little bit of a darkness flavor kind of thing. And then what's the name of the one in, is it Batman Beyond, right? Ink or whatever? Ink, yes, Ink. Yeah, so anyway, um, but yes, it is compelling and, and you get a little bit of backstory and a little bit of fresh story. And it, it does, you know, jumps in time every once in a while where it's like, ah, uh, you know, just a little bit of time for me to, right, right. Take, to figure it out. But yeah, I do so and enjoy this book. It's a good book. Uh, yeah, so we agree. Yay, hooray. Um, yeah, and I really dug her, like, full black outfit with the exception of that kind of mouth is shown. Yeah, and one, I like the kind of Venom-esque, you know, pulling it off her face. Yeah, and yeah, saying, that is cool. And saying that more, you know, it, eventually it, at some point I'm not going to be able to do that, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little insight, and, and it was interesting. And her night crawler powers is cool. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we agree. Uh, and so that's the uh, 14 books. This, yeah, I, so I don't know if that means that they're going to have 12 right. next week or if they're having an extra special extra one or something. I don't know. I mean, there was one. I, I think it was the Penguin one. I don't remember. There was another book that said this one came first, so I feel like it was supposed to be in the first or second wave. Right. just didn't make it. So anyway, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if there's 52 or if there's a magical 53. But hopefully it's been successful enough that they'll do the hero ones. Please, please, please. Yes, please. That would be awesome. So the Magical 53rd. So I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, so, yeah, the, again, yeah, very solid. Um, a lot of fun with the covers. There could definitely be more, but these are all technically one-shots, although a lot of them do lead to Forever Evil or a couple other books. Yeah, and they're the, talking about... The light, light, Lights Out. Right, Lantern right. Yeah, yeah. Event yeah. That's coming up. They're talking about several different Forever Evil. So you have Forever Evil this, and then Forever Evil that. Well, this is the first time that they've said that there's going to be another Forever Evil that I, I, think, I know. I think they brought up two or three Forever Evils. I'm not sure about that. I know there was at least one more. But anyway, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm having fun. The Forever Evil is actually what I'm really interested in. But yep. unfortunately, that's only once a month, so, yep. so we'll have to wait for that. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we, so find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. We're also both blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, updates to the world I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com where I have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, check that out. Alright guys, see you later! Oh jeez, there it goes. You didn't fire three times? Nope. I didn't fire a damn one, it got stuck in there. Next up, the NHL video game. I wonder where that expression came from, really. Take everything with a grain of salt. Um, I think that's a chef term. One of those things where I didn't add, add, in, add any uh, salt to this, so taste it, and just remember to take it with a grain of salt. Just assume that, that this salt is coming. I think I have no idea. That doesn't make sense within the context of what we use it for now. So It's the only thing that I can think of. I wasn't really asking you. You were asking them? Exactly, nobody. It's a rhetorical question. Ah. Uh, in fact, I don't even think you asked a question. I think I answered a question that was asked. Yeah, I don't think I did. You were like, I wonder where that comes from. Well, I'm glad you asked. I didn't. <laughs> glad you asked. I have no idea, but I'm going to make up some bullshit that sounds good to me. That's that's how I do. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, I know. And then for a focal point, Resident Evil, the card game. The card game? The deck building game. The deck building game. What do you do in that game? You build a deck. There you, go. there you go. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with Frick. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with week three of DC's Villains Month, and then we're gonna Frick. I was about to roll into the focal point. For some reason. See you guys. Ah, nice Congrats. shot. But now I have to get that. <laughs> That's your penance. Now I'm gonna move the, camera. the problem is now I've like used up my good shot. <laughs> Did I move the camera against the door? You always get you always get the first two lately. You just you're on, but then you fail later. In the week. Yep. Hey guys, welcome to Door View. We got a great week starting off with the third week of. <laughs> Frick. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna shoot another one, so you have to get up. Here. It's your punishment. Uh, did you want to do a sound test? Sound test? Yeah, I guess we should. I'm trying to make it like a sea anemone or something weird. I can't, I can't like move just those, those, because my pinky's like, no, I'm gonna move too. Screw you. 
Don't move. Damn it, Pinky, don't move. <laughs> even, even now, it's like, even now, like, how do you do that? And your Pinky's not moving. That yeah, looks like gills a little bit. Okay. So are you starting off? Uh, is that what happened last time? Well, you always start off now. Well, you usually start off with a date, and then I go into plot. Oh, yeah, okay. I stand corrected. I sit corrected. Hey, everybody, today is the 23rd, and we're taking a look at my glasses are filthy. Just noticed all the dust on them. Dude, mine have been, I don't know, something, it's, it's like, I don't know. All good. Hell yeah! Nice job. Woo!